guys welcome back to all illuminator 11 i hope you're all having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here so we are going to do an energy check-in as we're moving into this weekend we've got a powerful weekend ahead we've got the full moon as well you know the full moon is a great time for working on releasing letting go of the things that need to go and you know powerful messages have already come out in relation to that you know do check out the self-love reading that came through you're being asked to slow down to tend to your own garden you know to really be there for yourself with self-care and you know and loving yourself checking in with what's going on with you so do check out that video as well to hear the messages that we're coming through so what we are going to do we are bringing in four decks today we're going to check in using uh today we're bringing in the angel tarot so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines what is happening with the energy for the divine masculines what do we need to know what is happening for the divine masculines thank you angels anything else coming through for the divine masculines that we need to know about anything else going on with the divine masculines thank you angels what else is happening for the divine masculines what else is happening for the divine masculines okay i think that's that yeah that's it okay thank you angels for the divine feminines what do we need to know okay so that's for the divine feminines anything else for the divine feminines so this one's trying to come out okay so next we are going to bring in the sacred uh destiny oracle thank you angels for the divine masculines what do you need to know what do we need to know for the divine masculines and then for the divine feminines what do we need to know Anything else that we need to know okay and then we're also going to bring in this is the uh, lovers oracle as well thank you angels for the divine masculines what do we need to know what do we need to know for the divine masculines what messages are coming through what do we need to know for the divine masculines anything else for the divine masculines okay and then what do we need to know for the divine feminines thank you angels for the divine feminines what messages are coming through okay let's just do that again for the divine feminines they're really difficult to shuffle these heart cards but thank you angels what messages is coming are coming through for the divine feminines what do we need to know what do we need to know for the divine feminine okay and then we'll bring in as well some messages of love from your divine masculine what they're wanting to say to you today so thank you angels what is the divine masculine wanting to say to the divine feminine today what messages of love are coming through so we've got those ones and then let's just shuffle that again any other messages what else are they wanting to say today to their divine feminine okay right so we've got our cards so let's see what's happening here so the cards that came out for the divine masculine right so the first card that we've got here we've got the seven of water and the seven of water is that card about you know sort of things the chances and opportunities coming in making choices when it comes to their life and i feel that right now your divine masculine is in a place of which they're looking at the things that are going on you know making choices about what to do what to change in their life you know it's like there's certain opportunities that are in their life right now but they are in this place of making the choices what is important where do they want to be what do they want for their life you know and they are really seeing what they need to change i feel like they you know the message that came through today powerfully in the reading that i did for the divine masculines was about new beginnings you know new beginnings coming in for them but for them to be able to get to these new beginnings they need to make certain choices you know about what to change what to leave behind what to walk away from you know if they're wanting that love with you you know that's one of the choices for them is to let go of things of the past to let go of coming situations, the things that have been holding on to, letting go of fear. So these are choices that they are making right now that are bringing in new opportunities for new beginnings. So I feel that they are in this place of looking at their life, thinking about things, making choices about what it is that they need to let go of and what it is that they're wanting for their life, what it is that they want to bring in so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they're truly here to live. 
The next card that has come out is the strength card. So I feel that as they're making these choices, they are also in this place of really learning to gain the strength to do what they need to do, to bring in the changes where they need to bring in. That's what I'm really getting with this card as well. It's like they are also getting, um, you know, help from above, being given that strength so that they can gain the inner strength to change things in their life you know it's it's not having that strength that stops them from being able to where the fear takes over but they are gaining this inner strength to make the changes that they need to make you know because when they have that strength within then they can just go for you know walking away from whatever it is that they need to walk away from and you know believing in themselves more having that strength that inner strength and courage so they are working on this as they're making the choices to go for the things that they want to go for or to walk away from the things that they're wanting to walk away from so they are also in this place of gaining this inner strength to be able to do this and what they are wanting is the beautiful love you know this is the ten of cups the ten of cups ten of water that's about the family the love these are the things that they are wishing for you know where they've got those choices they are wanting this they are wanting that love and that's that love with you their divine feminine and that's about having everything you know so they are wanting to count to move forward towards this life but the, to do that, they have to make certain choices of walking away from succumbing situations, you know, things that they've been holding on to for so long. And they're gaining the inner strength to do that. So that's what's happening with the Divine Masculines right now. They are wanting this life with you. They're dreaming about this. You know, this is what they are wanting for their life. The choice that they know they need to make to have this life. But to, to be able to get there, they need to also make other choices to change certain things in their life as well right now. So they are wanting this and also the turn of earth has come out. So, you know, this is where they are moving forward towards. This is about having it all, abundance, the things that they desire. These are their dreams, you know, the love that they desire, everything coming in for them. So they are making choices in their life right now that are there to help to bring in this life that they are desiring. So, you know, I really feel they're working on really finding the courage and strength and inner strength to change things in their life so that they can have this life with you. So those are the cards that came out, you know, for the Divine Masculines. And then the cards that came out for you, the Divine Feminine. So we've got here, this is like the release card. It says here. And and this is kind of like, you know, um, what I guess this is uh, the, the card about, it says here, end of a phase or situation. So this is about change coming into your life. Spiritual tra transformation, time to move on, bringing in changes in your life. So you may be letting go of certain things as well. And it's a powerful card to come out you know a release card as we've got this powerful full moon coming in this is the time to release as well and let go of the things that no longer serve you so these may be certain negative emotions certain fears you know certain things in your own life that are holding you back from moving forward when it comes to your spiritual growth and you know moving forward into who you truly are so this is a powerful time to use this energy of this full moon to work on releasing what needs to go i really feel this is why this card has come out it's time for you to end certain situations in your life that need to come to an end so that you can be able to move forward into who you truly are and into the life that you are desiring so maybe you've got a situation that is a karmic situation that you need to release you know use the power of this full moon to work on releasing that you may be needing to forgive things of the past use the power of this full moon to to bring that in as well that forgiveness in so whatever it is that needs to end when it comes to your life this is the powerful time for you to work on releasing it with this full moon really powerful the next card that has come out is the high priestess so this is about you connecting with your intuition listen to your intuition it's guiding you when it comes to things that you need to release, things that you need to move forward towards when it comes to your own life, you're constantly being guided. You've got all that wisdom and knowledge within and your intuition is guiding you when it comes to your life. So quieten the outside world, listen to your intuition and go for the things that you're being guided to do. Really powerful is all to come out. The last card that came out 
is the page of fire this is the page of wands so this is about good news coming in you know hearing good news it could be to do with the love that you're desiring from your divine masculine because they're gaining the strength to make changes in their own life gaining the strength to move forward towards you to bring you that good news because they are wanting that life with you you know the beautiful family home the everything they're wanting that so this is about the good news coming in from your divine masculine as well about the love that they have for you you know it could be good news about other things as well in your life as you release certain things that you've been holding on to so there's good news coming in keep moving forward is the message that's coming through and trust that everything is is falling into place when it comes to your life really beautiful the cards that came out for the divine masculines so we've got purification and you know and this is also a powerful card to come out you know we've got rain there that's about releasing letting go washing away things that need to go and i feel that there's this purification that's coming in for the divine masculines as well you know with the power of this full moon to help to release things of the past as they make decisions to walk away from certain things so they can bring in the life that they desire it's like a purification when it comes to their own life so i feel they're also it's like this energy is coming in to help to purify and wash away things that need to go as well in their life. You know, releasing what needs to go, whether it's the fears, you know, the things that are still holding them back so they can move forward towards happiness. You know, you've got that um, sunflower there, the sunflowers there. That's about moving forward towards happiness as they wash away and release and let go of the things that have been holding them back. That will bring in that life that they desiring of happiness of the beautiful family and the things that they are desiring and also abundance so you're being shown here that there is abundance coming in for your divine masculine and that's about abundance in all areas of their life abundance in love abundance in you know the things that they're desiring as well you know that's all coming in but that's about them working on releasing what is in the way right now the things that they need to let go of first so that they can have that life that they desire for you the divine feminine the cards that have come out so we've got here illumination and you know and i feel that you're being shown here as well you know that there is this full moon may actually be coming in to illuminate certain things that need to go when it comes to you you know, you may have certain emotions sort of being highlighted, illuminated as well in your life. This is to show you or, you know, sort of coming up for you. This is to show you certain things that you need to work on releasing. So there is this sort of illumination that's happening for you to help you to work on letting go of the things that need to go so that you can be able to move forward towards the life that you're desiring. And you are on this vo voyage. This is like the moving forward towards the life that is coming in for you so and for you to get there you know you need to be like you know it's like you are on a boat releasing certain things that need to go letting go of the things that no longer serve you as well so that you can get to that destination of the life that you are dreaming of you know there's no just there's no end destination but i mean when it comes to the dreams that you have you know get to the destination of the dreams that you have about the life that you're desiring so it's like you are on this journey towards your dreams and as you're moving forward towards these dreams you are letting go of certain things releasing things that are in the way of your growth and in the way of the dreams that you are having as well so i'm really feeling the message coming through here is to really use the power of this full moon to let go of what needs to go and that is going to bring success into your life you know, there's good news coming in, there's success coming in when it comes to love, when it comes to the dreams that you have about the things that you desire, it's all coming in for you. So you're being shown that it's all coming in. So continue to trust, continue to work on yourself, continue to release what needs to go, what's in the way of the things that you're desiring of that success and know that, you know, it's all coming in for you. So really beautiful cards to come out. And the success will come in as well as your divine masculine makes the choices they need to make, gains the strength that they need to gain to change things in their life so that they can move forward towards what they're dreaming of, which is that life with you and the abundance and, you know, everything that they want in their life. And that is bringing in success for you and also bringing in good news when it comes to your life. 
really beautiful the cards that have come out for for the divine masculines so the first card that we've got here we've got soulmate so which is a powerful card to come out you know for the divine masculines and it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so they're dreaming of the life with you you know there's no two twin flame card but this is what it's talking about their twin flame you their divine feminine you're the, you're already together with spirit there is no separation so they have to believe that they're going to have that love in the life that they truly desire as well for it to manifest physically so you know it's really powerful that that has come out for them the next card that has come out is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in so this is about them working on finding that joy within you know they're also getting to this place of releasing that you know feeling of sadness and all these things to find joy within themselves because everything has to start with you they have to raise their vibration as well you know they have to work on themselves as well to get into a place where they can move forward towards the things that they desire so this is about them working on allowing to find that joy within regardless of whatever circumstances that they have in their life the next card that has come out is friendship and it says nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so your divine masculine as well wants to bring in that friendship with you they're missing that friendship we had this message come through when i did the video that i did uh, was it on sunday where they were saying that you know i they are missing that friendship it came out amongst the other cards so they are wanting to build that stronger friendship with you to bring that back in as well to nurture the bond of that friendship that you have so that's the message that's really coming through here and then the last card that came out is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they all they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment so this is also a powerful card they are working on letting go of resentment you know there may be resentment of other people who have relationships you know resentment of the people that are in their life where they are not feeling good in themselves resentment towards themselves whatever it is they are also working on releasing this especially with the power of this full moon i feel that they're working on releasing resentment anger you know sadness you know so that they can be able to also raise their vibration but also become more joyful within you know for themselves and then the cards that have come out for you the divine feminine so the first one that has come out is when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love so what a beautiful message you're just being reminded as well that you know it's it's always about the memories that you make in your life you know being in your in your joy doing the things that you love you're living your life right now is the memories of the things that you're doing in your life that you take with you so make your life count that's the message that's coming through in every day in everything that you do make your life count because when you pass from this world that's what you take with you those memories you know and you know your and your soul and the memories that you you have of the life that you've lived so make your life count in every moment of your life that's the message that's coming through rather than waiting for things to happen in the future or someone else to bring something into your life or your divine masculine to come in make your life count in this present moment the next card that has come out is the past is behind you now release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith so another powerful message coming through for you especially with this full moon that is all about release you know let go of things to do with the past it is now behind you it's about releasing it and embracing new opportunities so you know whatever you may still be holding on to that you need to let go of things that you may need to forgive this is the time to do that so that you can open yourself up to this new path that is coming in for you open your energy up to be a able to bring in new things for your life and follow this path that's coming in for you with faith 
the last card that came out is playfulness and it says laughter is the best therapy so you're being asked to laugh you know enjoy yourself do the things that bring you laughter in your life maybe watch a a funny film or you know a comedy or whatever it is that you can do as well to bring more of that joy and fun into your life laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer so you know and you may not be together in the physical to laugh with your divine masculine but you can always connect with them on the 5d you know through telepathy you can laugh that way you know, or see the signs that they send you that make you laugh or, you know, you watch a film that reminds you of them. And, you know, the, the, it's a comedy that where you laugh about certain things. So you can always find that laughter in your day to day life. So you're being asked to to laugh. You know, find joy in the things that you're doing in your life. That's the big message that's coming through. Playfulness is an important part of your life. Okay. And it's also helpful for you to stay in the place of higher vibration. So the cards that have come out from your divine masculine, first one is, I know we are twin flames. And they had the soulmate card, to, to, you know, that came out, which was really about twin flames. So they are showing you here that they know that you're twin flames. Let me see if I can find it and see exactly what it said. So this was the card and it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. So they're saying to you, I with your twin flame is already with you in spirit. And they're saying, I know we are twin flames. So really powerful, you know, and they are just wanting this to manifest physically so that they can have the beautiful life, the 10 of cups life, you know, the 10 of um, pentacles life that they got the cards for. So they're saying to you, I know we are twin flames. They may not know the term, but they know that you are soulmates or you've got this beautiful soul bond that they know about. They're also saying to you, our love is real. So really powerful. They know that this love is real. They feel the difference between the love that they have for you and what they've felt before, you know, with other people. And they're saying to you, uh, when it comes to love, this love that we have is real. They're also saying our passion is real. So, you know, they are feeling the passion towards you as well. And they're saying that the passion is real. So the love is real and the passion is real. So really powerful. They're really feeling this right now. And they're wanting you to know that they are feeling just how real this love and this passion is between the two of you. So really beautiful. Okay. And they are also saying to you, nobody compares to you. So they're saying to you, Divine Feminine, I know we are twin flames. You know, our passion is real. Our love is real. And, you know, there is just nobody that compares to you. You know, you're the one for me. I feel you and I know that we have this amazing special bond. And for me, nobody else compares to you. Really beautiful. And they are also saying to you, I want to take care of you. So they're saying, I'm doing what I need to do in my life right now, gaining the inner strength to change things in my own life so I can have that 10 of life, ten of cups life with you, 10 of pentacles life with you, where I've got all the things that I desire and I can and I want to be able to take care of you. So they're saying to you, I want to take care of you and they're doing what they need to do so that they can be able to get to that place within themselves where they feel that they what they can take care of you because it's what they are wanting so they're dreaming about this they're working towards this life with you and you know and it's all coming in success coming in good news coming in for you so continue to trust and just focus on you especially this weekend we you know releasing what needs to go and trust that it's all coming in for you at the right time i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light